What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode, this is episode number 62 and we start on today's episode off with some player training, uh, Brian Fagan as you can see is getting 3 drills right now, now up to 64 overall, I really do have big plans to use Fagan this year, as we know this guy has got high high work rates, he's 6'6 six six, and his stamina is decent coming out of the academy as well, so yeah Fagan's going to get some game time this year, don't worry about that and uh, Brandon Lewis might get some game time this year as well because he had a loan off rear for a 16 year old uh, left winger 65 rated uh, Porta Monet's not sure if that's the right way to pronounce that uh, put a one year loan deal in for our winger but we said no and the reason being is because whilst we don't play with wingers yet um, there is a chance that we'll get some game time for in this season of course being in the Europa League we've got cup competitions as well midweek fixture in the Premier League I, I do want to give our youth academy players some game time this season yes we spent big on Wilfred and Didi and Alfredo Morelos but when you think about the youngsters that have done well in this team I mean not just academy players but young players in general I want to continue that trend with Sheffield United and, and get some more academy faces in the first team as well. You know, of course, we've got Ollie Shaw is the standout at left wing back, as we know. But Barry Walsh, who came in last season, had an absolutely brilliant year in the first team. And now, after that year, he's he's one of our first choice uh, central midfielders here, despite being 75 rated. And I want to do the same with Fagan as well. Whilst right now his overall is low, I do have big plans for him uh, this season. Anyway, first game of today's episode is going to be away from home against Marco Silva's Toffees at Goodison Park on the back of our 4-2 victory on the opening day against Leicester City. And to start the game off, well, let's just say normal service has resumed. In the first two seasons, we can see this so many rebound goals it was ridiculous and of course I coined the phrase, well I didn't really coin the phrase it's been a common phrase for a while on this channel but uh, the, the phrase uh, death taxes and rebound goals uh, the free certainties in life and you know last season we started scoring rebound goals and it was a, a real surprise because of course the first two seasons we only conceded them but for the first goal of this game it was a rebound goal so normal service resume there, Everton go a goal up and then three minutes later they would double their lead as well through wrong year 2-0 inside the first 16 minutes at Goodison Park an abysmal catastrophic start from our blades and of course we conceded two goals on the opening day against Leicester City now 2-0 down here away against Everton and, and really we were struggling to defend so much in the second half three minutes after the restart it so easily could have been free ball through to Mendes held it up well takes it around Henderson and finds the back of the net but thankfully we were saved by the linesman's offside flag defensively we started off the game so poorly and we couldn't seem to create anything either it wasn't until the 77th minute when we had our first meaningful attack Shaw's cross in the middle headed wide by Dom at Calvert-Lewin who in the three games we uh, played against Everton last year he scored in every single one in this game though he was really struggling as was Ivan Tony up top and when DCL did get the chances he might have got a hat trick on the opening day but in this game just wasn't clinical at all first he's had to go in wide then that scissor kick volley saved by Jordan Pickford as we were still down by two and whilst we did look a lot better in the final 20 minutes of the game it shouldn't have taken 70 minutes for us to start getting chances. We did get a goal back in the final few minutes. Eze getting his first goal of the year, connecting with Ollie Shaw, cross there down left-hand side. Lovely ball in by Shaw as well for his first assist of the season. And Eze heading it in. But sadly, it was just a consolation goal. Whilst we did half deficit, we couldn't find an equaliser. You see our nine shots there. Really, the most meaningful ones, the most meaningful attempts came in the final 20 minutes. So, two on the final score. A defeat away at Goodison Park in our first away game of the season. And a, uh, you know, a tough battle away at Goodison Park. Going to Everton is never going to be easy. But I was I was really annoyed about how poor we were defensively in that game. The AI marking was quite poor. The rebound goal is, of course, very frustrating to concede early. But also creating chances too. It took way too long for us to get started in, in that game. And that is one problem I am having, I should say as well, in this year's career mode. I don't start games off very strong. A lot of the time it takes me like 20, 25 minutes to get into my stuff. I don't know why it is. Maybe I'm just, you know, holding onto the board a little bit too much and not looking to force the issue, I don't know, but either way, poor defeat there, and uh, our record after two is 1-1 one, one and lost one. But uh, still falling out, we had a bit here for our club captain, Oliver Norwood, 
who, as we know, is out of contract in the summer. And John Fleck, his mate, has now gone to Deportivo. Frozenone put a bid in, uh, the Italian side, for the club captain of £4.7 million. You see Tabak goes here uh, for £610,000. And I said I wanted at least £5 million for the captain. They said no. They said it only goes £4.8 million. And then I thought, well... I don't want to sell the captain, of course, but as we know now, Oliver Norwood is not going to get much game time, if at all, in this Sheffield United side. As you see, our European qualifiers uh, group with England, we've got Hungary, Czech Republic, Portugal, Northern Ireland, and Bulgaria in our Euro 2024 qualifying group. And as you would have seen there, the Europa League final playoff round, they've just played the first leg. The second legs are about to be played, and I'll let you know our Europa League group in the very next episode. I don't want to sell the club captain, Oliver Norwood, out of contract in the summer he's not going to get any first team football he's like eighth choice central midfielder now as i mentioned before i do want to give the kids some game time this year as well so even fagan at 16 years old is going to be ahead of him in the pecking order i think like with john fleck it's best to let him go for first team football have his interests at heart let him go elsewhere try and apply his trade in a foreign club and i think for the good of him and for the good of the team as well we can officially move on from Nord and officially give the captain's armband to scott mckenna we kept on saying future sheffield united captain well perhaps it's going to be current Sheffield United club captain anyway for our second and final game of today's episode back at Bramwell Lane as we will take on Burnley here at uh, in uh, Yorkshire and heading into the game I did sign a couple of changes to my lineup including starting our new 28 million pound striker Alfredo Morelos getting a start in this game up top alongside Ivan Tony as DCL would settle for a bench roll he had the ball in the back of the net for his first goal in the Premier League 21 minutes in Tony rolling through but as you can see he was indeed offside great awareness there from Kevin Long and just like in the previous game against Everton we were struggling in the first half mightily for clear-cut chances in the 44th minute once again another superb piece of defending here this time by Taylor with an acrobatic clearance at the far post former Rails could turn a nolly short cross and that's why at a break for a second straight time we hadn't scored a goal and I thought right things are going to have to change here if we're going to get our second win of the season ensure we'd have two slip-ups in our first three games I did something I haven't done very often since the series began and that was change formation and change to a four at the back setup as well now as we know we play five at the back or occasionally three at the back will change to in game as that's the way Sheffield United normally play uh, in real life and we like to keep it realistic but it just wasn't working for us the five at the back the three at the back was not working support you know what? I'm going to change to a four at the back system at the break I went to a four two 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 and just two minutes after the restart we would get our all-important first goal and get ourselves in front. It wasn't due to a tactical change though, it was from a set piece, a corner, whipped into the middle by Eze. Great start to the season for Eze, picking out Ivan Tony. and whilst he didn't score at Goodison Park, and had a tough game at Goodison Park as well, he gets his second goal of the season and puts us in front there to make it 1-0, but we did look so much better though in the second half and really we should have been two goals up, 12 minutes after the restart. Morelos running through, great save by Nick Pope though, and then again a couple seconds later, as indeed he tried his luck from range, but Nick Pope always seems to have a great game against us. Not a surprise with me being England manager. He always wants to impress and try and prove that he's got what it takes to take out Pickford as England's number one. But Burnley still only down by a goal, courtesy of their goalkeeper. And then just past the hour, they would score from a corner themselves. Whipped into the middle, great header by Ben Mee across the face of the goal and turned into the back stick as Burnley had leveled the score. So Sheffield United won, Burnley won. But I felt confident we would get back in front in this game, even with just 20 minutes to go. And we would do so as well through our new £28 million pound man. Alfredo Morales had a couple of great chances in the game. Had the ball in the back of the net earlier. Disallowed for offside, but they're not going to disallow that one. Great, strong, aggressive head of the back stick. Makes it 2-1. We are back in front in the game. And with 12 minutes to go, talking about strength and aggression. Ollie Shaw saying to Patrick Roberts, give me that ball. I love this little wrestling match there with Roberts. Wins it back. Feeds it through to Tony. Into DCL. Rolls it across the face. And who's there? It's Morelos once again. Thought I'd give him his first start in the Premier League in this game. So glad I did. Because he really did look assertive in this game Reynolds and that's what I want from the Colombian as well the guy plays with a lot of passion for Rangers a lot of aggressive uh, play in his game and he certainly was aggressive in this game as well two goals from Morelos on his debut and you see it at, uh, at half time compared to full time we'd had two shots in 45 minutes in the first half but in the second half we'd had 10 shots 10 shots in the second half and really it was a tactical change that did this for us plus Dominic Calvert as well come the bench getting two assists as well late on setting up Morelos for both of those goals there it was a tactical change really that did us for 
for us. Switching to a four at the back system, playing a 4-2-2-2, changing formation in the end is what proved to be the catalyst and why we managed to get the win by three goals to one. So the question is... Do we stick with four at the back throughout the series? We've played five at the back or three at the back, but now do we change to a four at the back system and try and adopt a new play style with Sheffield United in our fourth year at Bramwell Lane? If you've got any suggestions for me for tactics and formations and lineups, let me know in the comment section down below. But I will say this, I thought we looked very, very good in that second half playing the 4-2. Two, two. But that was today's episode of Career Mode, guys. So big thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy today's episode, then please drop a like. Much love to you all, and I'll see you for the next episode of Career Mode very soon.